only really emergencies are being treated for the general public apart from outpatients because they don't have the doctors to do it. Some of the doctors have come back, those that could, that were able to get to the hospital have come back and are w working willingly very long hours. But of course they can only, I mean they're limited as to what they can do. Some of the nurses have come back but the full administration and medical staff of hospitals are not back in place and the ministries are not working so there's no backup. People do not know what they should do. That is the big problem. Do you have any way of knowing what sort of numbers of people have died even in the area that you're in touch with? Uh, no I don't but I can tell you today I was in a children's hospital today and out in the garden of the children's hospital was a pile of dead bodies that had been there for six days. These were people that had been caught in crossfire during the fighting and they just piled them up in the garden waiting for people to come and collect them. It was a really tragic situation. Um, you've talked then of the medical crisis. What about food? The government um, gave out food um, to people, um, so people do have food at the moment. Our main concern is how long will that food last, because you have to remember that this is a country dependent on a monthly ration. Our estimates are that it may last another two or three weeks, but if food is not available then, people are not being paid. You must remember the government was the main employer here. They're not getting any salaries. They don't have the wherewithal to buy anything. The merchants don't have the food because of the ration. You know, it's a really a cyclical thing and it's a downward cyclical thing unless this is put right, quite frankly. Obviously, you were interacting with the old government. Have, has CARE International, for example, yet had a meeting with anybody in authority from the uh, Americans to try and sort out what to do? Well, we've have, we come to the coordination meeting just to find out what's happening on electricity and water. Um, that's all. Um, but it's not yet clear what... I mean, they're working on putting the electricity back on, but it isn't on. And they're working at getting some of the civil servants back at work. But, I mean, this is a mammoth task. Um, I mean, the Ministry of Health was not unlike the Ministry of Health in Britain. It was the largest employer of any of people in the whole country. We need to get those people back here at work.